Hi everyone. I wanted to show you how I'm going to um, turn this watermelon uh, plant into a hydroponic watermelon plant. So it's in this little cup that it came in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more holes in this cup and some slits down the side for the roots to come out. And then I'll fix a bucket so that it'll accept this. And then I can plant it just like that. So I'll show you the cup and the bucket when I get that ready. So I just took the uh, the plant out of the cup so that I can go and um, I'm going to use my soldering iron and put a couple holes and some, some slits down through here. And then um, I'll set up the bucket and I'll show you how that goes. Okay, so now I've got my my little cup all ready. I cut my lid for my bucket to fit that. And now I figured I'd show you um, how I mix up. The, I use Master Blend um, Hydroponic Nutrient Solution. So I can show you how I mix that up. This is Master Blend right here. And you mix that with calcium nitrate and a magnesium. We have Epsom salt. So what you do is it's going to be for five gallons, which five gallon pail, if you fill it up right to there, is a little line right here. I don't know if my camera is showing that, but it's, it's a little uh, line about an inch down. And that is the mark for your five gallon. And so you're going to put two teaspoons of each one of these in. What I like to do is mix up, uh, put the two teaspoons of calcium nitrate in, and then mix it up, and then add two teaspoons of the master blend and mix it up. And then finally I put the Epsom salt in and mix it up and fill to the five gallon mark here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I've done is I mixed up my solution. I shouldn't have sealed this, but um, because what I wanted to show you is I mixed up a full five gallons, but I didn't need it all because I want my solution to be down low enough so that it's just barely coming into this cup about a quarter of an inch. So that when I put my plant back in, which I'm just going to drop drop it right in there now it will be able to drink up some of that nutrient solution in the beginning I'm going to watch this a little bit and make sure what you want is the roots once the roots go down into the nutrient solution you don't care if this looks like it's dried out it won't matter because the plant will be drinking from the solution um, I've done this before and it's worked well, so I figured I'd give it a try with the watermelon. The five gallon reservoir is probably not nearly enough for a watermelon, but um, I can always pull this out and drop it into a bigger reservoir later. But I just wanted to give it something, get it started hydroponically anyway. And you know, you might be able to do it in a five gallon container if you don't mind checking that every day. and topping it off because I imagine these drink a lot. I, uh, I haven't heard of anybody doing a watermelon this way but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the other thing is that you want to make sure um, for anybody who's new to this that you, um, you cover your bucket with foil or something that will keep it from the light from penetrating the bucket because you will develop algae and that will compete with the plant for nutrients so you want to make sure you don't get any algae in there. So that's it. That's the uh, the Kratky watermelon, or any you know you can do this with any any plant that you buy uh, pre you know pre-started. It's a good way to transfer it into hydroponics.